Jennifer here from Create in Spain. I'm making this video today because I've noticed there have been a lot of comments, a lot of questions from people who are new to either Shortcut Slot or to the Brothers Scan and Cut. And they're wondering whether they will actually benefit by doing a print cut as averse to just scanning images and tracing them on the Brothers Scan and Cut itself. So I thought I would show you something which might clarify it a little bit. So I'm going to do a trace and find an image on my computer. And I've put an image on my computer that is likely to cause me problems. And I'm now opening it. OK, so here we have a pretty good example. I want to trace the outer edge of this, so I just want the outside line. I don't want all the zebra stripes or anything like this. But if you come down here, this bit here, this bit here, this bit here, we have a bit of a problem. And if I alter the number of colors downwards and give you a preview, that does not make it any better. That makes it worse. If I increase the number of colors, I still have a problem here and here. Let's keep going on the increase and see if we can get rid of it. No, we just can't do it. And the reason is because the background of this image, the actual image that it's taken from, has a very similar tone to some of these paler colors within the image. So no matter what I do with this particular image, unless I purchase the advanced trace function and I haven't bought it to test it out because I am not buying anything else that I don't need because I've got it somewhere else, I cannot get a proper trace of this image. And you might say, well, why don't you just scan it anyway? Well, the reason is because if it doesn't have a nicely defined line around it, Putting this image on the scanner once it's printed and then trying to scan it is going to cause me very similar problems. I'm going to go over into Shortcuts a lot and I'm going to do a trace on exactly the same image. So find my zebra. Here we go. Here's my zebra. Let's check the break apart outlines. Add the image layer because you're doing a print and cut and a blackout so that generally speaking, I get the outside edge. And you can see this isn't doing it. But if I click on use the alpha channel and update my preview, I get a perfectly good trace. Click on OK. And that's going to do my trace. So I have my zebra and you can see that I've got a trace line around it. And they are connected together because print and cut, they always sort of go together until you actually move them apart. So I can resize this and I can do whatever I want with it, position it however, resize it, not a problem. If you go over here to the layers, you can see it's grouped. And I'm going to go to the eyeball here. I'm going to switch off the image. It's not gone anywhere. It's just hiding it. You can't see it. And if I select this and I go to path and then I go to simplify, I have another function here, which is really, really handy. Now, I don't know why the input says four nodes because <laughs> it's obviously got more than that. But this one here, you can see, has less nodes in it than this one here. And depending on what you set the threshold to, depends on how many nodes it will remove and whether it will stay true to the shape. But in general, I do not find a problem with having it on a maximum setting and getting rid of as many nodes as possible. So I can click on OK. And although you don't see any change on the image here, when I send it to the cutter, it makes it a much smoother cut. I found an interesting thing when I was playing around with the print to cut yesterday. I don't know where the change has taken place, but there has been some sort of change somewhere. What used to happen is if, for example, I had my image here 
with my cut line around it and I exported it as an SVG, I would end up with my image up here and my cut line down there or vice versa. I can never remember which way around it was, but they wouldn't be lined up. But now when I do it, they are lined up and I don't know what's changed. I don't know if it's something on shortcuts a lot which has changed or if it is something on the canvas which has changed, but whichever it is, it has now solved that problem. What happens if you have shortcuts a lot, but you do not have the print to cut function on your brother's scan and cut? Well, there is a way of doing a nice simple cheat. Here I have my traced image and I'm going to switch the image off. You can see that I have my outline here. Now, because I did a print cut tracing what it's done if you go over to the right hand side it's put that as a cut line type now if i change that to a print this will automatically print i can go to my settings and if i want to i can change the color of that line so let me just change it something really obvious and do a red one if I go to the line width, I can take the width up and now I can switch on my image. And what's going to happen is it is going to actually print that line around, which means that when you put it onto your mat, there is something there, a complete solid line around your image that the scanner can pick up. Now, if you want to do it with an offset, all you do is you go to path, you go to offset path and you apply an offset. So I'm going to apply a larger offset to that one and click on OK. And you'll notice that the interior line has disappeared. You just have this outer line now. Turn off my image again. So if I click on this and go to my tool here it's showing that it's still going to print so this is going to print that outline it's also going to print zebra now you can print this from shortcut slot now you don't have to save the file you don't have to do anything else to it you can just print this and then you can use it with this line which will happily trace in your brother machine on the mat and you don't have to do a print and cut at all. You can just print it and scan it and get the machine to cut it out. Now, if you've done this in a very dark line and you're worried that the line may actually show, then you can quite easily either change it to a slightly different color or on the machine itself, you can do an interior offset of the line that you have got. So you would do a scan on your machine as per normal and you would save the file. Unless you save it, I don't think you have the option to mess around and put the offset on it on the machine. But you can do it so that it will cut just inside that line and you don't need to then have the print to cut function on the brother software which of course is a problem if you have a cm machine because you can't even buy it for the cm machines or indeed if you are in the united states because for some reason they don't sell that function in the united states find the attitude of brother completely peculiar but you know i'm logical so <laughs> what can i say so that's how you get around it but that is why i would actually want to do a print to cut or an image trace on my software rather than doing it just on the machine itself. You may wonder why you can't do your trace in shortcut slot, print it from shortcut slot, and then just send an FCM file to your cutter to actually cut it. But there's two reasons why you can't. If you do that, you'll find that the position is wrong. And because the brother software isn't quite as finely tuned as shortcut slot, unless you have something which measures, say, precisely four by three centimeters or something like that, it rounds the size up or down, presumably, if it's nearer to the down. So you will never get it, unless it's a precise measurement, a whole measurement in the first place, you'll never get it to exactly the right size. Because if you could, and you could position it exactly, you'd be doing pretty well. It will come close, 
but it won't quite do it extremely accurately. You know, if you're not that fussed, you can probably get away with it. But if you're going to be fussy about your cut, then you probably won't. Hope you found that interesting and that you could understand me. And I'll see you again soon. Take care now.